Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to take you along with me as I build a portable chicken coop for our meat chickens. Rachel and I have been doing meat chickens for the last three years now. It's been really great for our family and we haven't had to buy chicken at the store for the last three years, which has been great. We've been using stationary coops, which have worked just fine for what they are. The problem is though, over the weeks, the chickens have no other different land to move on. So the grass ends up dying from their excrement and just stomping on it constantly. So the portable coop will be able to give us the option to move the coop around every single day so they have new grass and land um, all the time, which will be perfect. It'll make for happier chickens. So before we get this all started, I wanted to be known, I am by no means a carpenter or professional builder. I am just a DIYer that has a couple tools and a really decent imagination. So take that for what it is and let's go ahead and start this build. We picked up some two by fours at the box store today and brought them to the farm. So what we're gonna be doing right now is using the speed square and a pencil to mark where we're drilling. You wanna drill these pilot holes so you don't blow out your wood when you go to put in the screw. Again, use our speed square to make sure We've got a nice square joint here. We're using butt joints, nothing crazy, uh, just something simple that'll hold together well. So I'm using three and a half inch screws uh, that are rated for outdoor use. We've got two foot wide corrugated metal uh, that we're going to be using for the roof of our chicken coop. So we're just gonna mark on here so that way we have two by four supporting that corrugated metal and that we can screw into and make sure that it's all secure. One of my favorite parts about this project is the fact that you don't need expensive, fancy tools. Essentially, all you need is a drill and a saw. I was able to use some old chicken wire fence from our old coop and reuse it for this project. Here you can see I have the chicken wire stretched and sandwiched between the base and the post. I do my best to keep the chicken wire as tight as I can while I'm going along. We have a lot of raccoon in our area and they always seem to try to get into our chicken coops. I'm hoping by sandwiching the chicken wire in between the boards, it'll make it a lot more difficult for them to try to get in. I had to do this whole project by myself, so it made it a little more difficult keeping everything tight and where I wanted it. I just keep slowly working my way around the base. Once we get to the end, I snip off the end of the chicken wire and then put it in between the very first post that we started with. I'll be adding this extra bracing here to help support the roof. I had to do this entire project by myself, so I had to get kind of inventive with the way I did things. As you can see here, getting the top part on to the chicken coop was the most difficult part. By placing these clamps in strategic locations, I was able to keep it all upright and get it screwed in with very little problem. I've used plastic roofing in the past in other coops, and it's never really held up well to the elements. That's why I went with this corrugated metal. For the roof, we're gonna use these gasketed screws so that way everything's sealed up once it's all put on. We're gonna be taking the staple gun and stretching the fence as far as we can get it so it's nice and tight. And then we're gonna be stapling down all the edges of the fencing. We've got a foot two by four here that we've got from our off cuts. 
We're gonna measure about two inches in, a half inch uh, drill bit. This will allow the half inch bolts that I have here to go through. I'm just simply driving screws in from the back of the base into those boards. I got these seven inch lawnmower wheels off of Amazon and they just came in today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bolt, run it through the lawnmower wheel. Again, found some more scrap two by fours from the project. We're gonna use these as handles. All right, we're gonna give it the maiden voyage and see if this actually works. Ah, it actually works. Not too bad, I'm kind of surprised. That wasn't bad for a day's project uh, and just a kind of a random idea that we had. We got ourselves a decent chicken coop. So we'll see how it handles over the years. We'll keep you updated over time to see how it does and how the moving around ends up going. Thanks again for coming out and watching this build today. We'll see you again next week. Mm -hmm.